All right, today I'm going to show you OAuth account hijacking via redirect URI. So let's take a look at what this says. This lab uses OAuth service, allow users, so you can log in with your social media account to an, an OAuth service. So we need to steal the auth code of an administrative user, and then we're gonna access their account and delete the user, Carlos like we do in all the other labs. So how is this performed? Well, let's access the lab first. There's a procedure for this. So that's the instructions. You're gonna to have to find where it's authorized. And then you're gonna to have to construct a malicious URL that contains these three parts. So let's take a look at how this works. Here's the lab, it has started. Let's um, look at what we have here. Let's go to my account, you're gonna log in. The credentials are, I believe they are, let's see what, Wiener and Peter. Attach it. All right, continue. So let's look at what we have. Let's see where it begins the OAuth client. Okay, here we go, OAuth client ID. Right here, get and let's see we have a redirect URI. And there's your 302. So the trick to this is you wanna see if this redirect, if you can just send it to an arbitrary website, which if you could, then that means you could send it to, you could have, you could send a link to this URL, you could send this to a uh, victim, and it would redirect to your exploit server, and they would log into that, and you would grab their credentials that way. So we will send this to the repeater, and for the redirect URI, we can just put in some random whatever. Three or two found. Okay, so this tells me that we could then put an exploit server URL here. So now comes the challenge of constructing a malicious URL that we will deliver to the victim. So this requires obviously our OAuth server. That's gonna go, so let's just get this. Okay, lab client ID and redirect URI. So that's right here, auth client. So we're just gonna get that and redirect URI right here. And instead of Luke Smith, we're going to make this, just gonna leave that blank for now. And what is the next one? Exploit server ID. And we're gonna have to remove that from the URI there. Okay. So go to exploit server. All right. So we're not gonna put forward slash exploit. We're just gonna stop right here at .NET. All right, copy that exploit server ID, so put that right here. And then we're gonna use this response type and all that, okay. So, go here, and there's your ampersand response type, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Well, that's the same there. Now that we have these actual four pieces, this is going to be the template. This is what we have to send to the victim. We need to send them these three parts. So let's construct this URL. 
and it has to be inside of an iframe because get rid of that because we're going to send it, we're going to put that payload here, send it, and then the access log, that's where we're going to capture their information. Go back here. All right, so I'm going to have, let's just get this. Mm -hmm. Undo that. All right. OAuth server. Right here. Auth server.net. Auth client, etc. We have that. So our client ID, let's grab that. and the redirect URI, exploit server ID, exploit server. So let's grab just the exploit server ID, which is this right here. It's that number. Where are we, where are we constructing this? Right here, okay, yes. Response type code, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This looks like the same thing, but just for the sake of demonstration, okay, two ampersands there, don't need that. So here we are. Let's get rid of this, put that down there. And template. Okay, so we've got our OAuth lab server. It needs to be HTTPS. Okay, we're good to go there. Server.net forward slash auth question client ID, and there's our client ID for this lab. Okay, and then we are redirecting URI redirect. Let's see here. Ampersand redirect underscore URI now exploit server ampersand redirect underscore URI equals and there's exploit server dot net Okay Exploit server Exploit server and response type code scope Open ID 20 da, 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 and surrounded by the iframes. This is what we need It's going to go in here Okay, we're going to store it. Now we can look at our access log. Let's view the exploit. Well, I'm supposed to have a graphic there, but. Okay, I think I entered something in incorrectly. So this is connecting now and Go back and view. Okay, so just to review this, we have our OAuth server, client ID redirecting to the exploit, but no, our OAuth and it redirects to our exploit, etc. goes there. And let's look at our access log. Code right here. Okay, so this is, this should be our code, the one I'm using right now. Okay, so now that we have caught it ourselves, our own code right here, let's send this to the victim. So it's stored and deliver exploit to victim. Okay, now we can view 
the access log, and I'm going to control F, C, O, D, E. Okay, this looks like it would be the administrator's code right here. So what I'm going to do, there's here's the formula to get the victim. We have to get their callback, so we have their code, access their admin account. So here's how it works. Use this URL. So now we're going to just do this. Uh, callback code. We're stealing that from the victim. Here they are. So we should be able to put this in our browser. Okay, I think I found the right one now. Continue, admin panel, there we are, and delete Carlos. Okay, so I messed up the URL. This ended up being the correct one right here. In any event, this was the process. We had to construct a malicious URL and take advantage of that redirect. So to go over it right here, we discovered that we could just put something random in there. And what we did was, and here we just put our exploit server and then we constructed the URL until we got, well, actually, we got this. And so then we just sent our OAuth server to the victim they were then redirected to our client, and then they were redirected to our exploit server. And this was all in the iframe. So they ended up being served this page. And when they did that, we were able to put it in a constructed final URL. Okay, well, I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.